Hey guys, Silent Seo here. Welcome to an Utame Cross tutorial video that should have been out years ago when Valkyrie Operation was first introduced. But due to time, health, and you know other life factors, uh, I can only make this video now. So yes, uh, do pardon me if I do stumble during this video. I'm technically recording this video at 2 a.m. now. Yeah, I waited for the servers to reset and, you know, servers reset at 12 a.m. in Japan. And since it's technically 1 a.m. in Japan right now that I'm recording this video, you know I've been trying hard because I've made mistakes and I had to re-record this video. So guys, I really appreciate it if you watch through the entire video. Discuss with me in the comments down below. Leave a like to this video, share and subscribe if you have not done so. And let's get down to the neat and gritty of Valkyrie Operations team setups. So let's head into the tab and let's take a look at the 5 teams. I highly recommend you guys to try out, especially for those of you who just don't want to crack your brains around the Japanese language and figure out what each Valkyrie does. So these are my recommendations to you and of course if you guys are new players or free to play players you can use this selections of Valkyries that I have used to focus on what you should be improving or unlocking through the episode plates that are appearing each month in the Chaos Exchange since those episode plates actually give you points to unlock Valkyries from each series itself so for veterinarian players who have unlocked everything just like myself, yes, I've been playing for 4 years and you know, I have all the Valkyries and I have the culture, all of them. So if you have no idea what the culture means, let's get down to the Utahime page, look at the Valkyrie tune up and you will see the big wonderful word, the culture. Basically, it means you have maxed out the Valkyrie for its skills. So, yes, it means you get to enjoy the full stats of each Valkyrie. And how do you get the materials to power up the Valkyries? Technically, you get the materials from playing the Red Boss event, which is the third event of the month, which is the most grindy event of the month. Unless that month has the Diva Improvement event, then yeah, the Diva Improvement event is the most grindy event on the month. <laughs> Alright, so if you guys play faithfully and religiously, I'm sure you will have a ton of materials to just improve the Valkyries. I have overflowing amount of materials that even up to now, you know, I can't claim from the mission rewards from the red boss events which you can see the banner is still here and I can't claim them because I have a max I've maxed out the quantity on the materials so yeah don't worry about materials I'm improving your Valkyries eventually you will have a buttload of them so okay so let's get down to the the topic at hand I'm sure by now for those of you who are playing this game regularly like I do, you know that Valkyrie Operations come with a Macross series um, beside them as you can tell here, you know, it comes with a particular series image. And there's a reason for it, basically, if you want to get the best rewards possible out of Valkyrie Operation, you need a Valkyrie from that series. So you need a Macross Delta. Valkyrie to clear a Macross Delta Valkyrie operation. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. It's a lot of words. So it, it, that's what tutorial videos are all about. You just have to understand what I'm saying to you. It's technically a lecture <laughs> on a game. So hopefully because it's a game, you guys have more interest in this, listening what, to what I have to say. So for those of you who are not subscribed, to the special pass or the Utamaku pass, in the, that, that's what is known previously, you will probably not see Valkyrie operations like this. Uh, only people who have subscribed to the pass will 
would see such Valkyrie operations. So yes, let's dive into a Valkyrie operations. We're going into the one that's for Macross Delta. And immediately you can see this green text below each of the Valkyries there. If you don't know what that means, it basically just showing you that the Valkyrie skills are active. So yes, if you guys do not see that green text below, it means that the skill for the Valkyrie that you have used in your Valkyrie team is not meant for Valkyrie operations. So let's take a look at the first team that I have going here. Um, Alright, before I move on, I should probably tell you about the names that I've set up for my teams as you can tell. This one says DM7. What are the initials for? Basically, they are talking about the Macross series they are from. So D stands for Delta. M, well, I, I didn't want to use SDF Macross because it's just too long. So, and it gets confusing because SDF, F, technically for me is Frontier. So I went with M because it is the first Macross franchise or rather first generation. So SDF Macross, so Space um, Super Dimension Fortress <laughs> Macross. Um, so I just went with Macross. So, you know, that's what the M stands for. Okay, I'm, I'm dragging on here. Okay, 7, straightforward, Macross 7. So the other teams, as you can tell, P stands for plus, and of course F stands for Macross Frontier. So why did I choose these three Valkyries? Before we get into the reasons why, let me tell you something first, which you need to remember. The five teams I'm recommending you right now, do not adjust the Valkyries in Team 1 and Team 2, as these Valkyries are set up to its optimal chance to give you great success for a Valkyrie operations. So if you don't know what great success means, every time you finish a Valkyrie operation when the timer runs out and you claim your rewards, you will see Dai Seiko, which basically translates to great success. Um, when you get great success for Valkyrie operations, your rewards end up being better, which is what you want. So the first two teams, all three Valkyries boost the chance of great success. So do not adjust the first two teams. Alright, so with that said, oh, I should probably start with Team 1. Let's do this. Team 1's leader is from the Macross Delta series. As you can tell from the Japanese text here, there's this leader text right there. It means that this Valkyrie needs to be in the leader slot to gain its skills to be active. Alright. So what does it mean? So as you can tell here, the Valkyrie op the Valkyrie Operation Leader will boost great success by 15% chance. So with that said, let's move on. The SDF Macross Valkyrie. Now this Valkyrie does the same thing. When it's used for Valkyrie Operation, you get 12% boost in great success. Now, there's one particular thing I need to mention about this particular SDF Macross Valkyrie. It is the only one of its kind. No other Valkyrie under the Macross, or rather SDF Macross tab, has this skill. So for free-to-play players and new players, please, if you see Valkyrie um, points for this particular Valkyrie, the VF, 1D, please gain those episode plates immediately and they culture this plane because it's one of its kind. Like I said, no other Valkyrie in the SDF Macross franchise has this ability. So let's move along now. The Macross 7 plane I went with is Basara's um, Fire Valk, which also has the sticker. On the top so yes 
Even though Basara's plane only gives a 7% boost for great success, any percentage is just welcome. So let's move along. So all the planes here that I'm recommending on the Team 2 is exactly the same as Team 1. They all boost the great success ability. So if you want to see what the plane is, just remember the name here. Uh, whoops. You know, just remember the name. Uh, if, if you don't have it unlocked yet, these are the planes that you should be aiming towards unlocking, especially if you're trying to get a proper team for Valkyrie operations because they're going to help you get materials for improving your episode plates which eventually will help improve your high scores um, you know, for events and of course for your regular play and all that good stuff. So moving along, Macross Plus plane which is the Kawamori Expo exclusive YF19 so this is the one that you need to look out for and of course we have the White Knight's plane from Macross Delta definitely want to gain this because it also boosts the great success chance now for team 3, 4 and 5 I have customized them in the way that all the second planes can be adjusted so do not touch planes 1 and 3 they are Valkyries with the great success ability while well, as the planes in the middle they just boost stats they either improve the attack stat or the life stat which would help reduce the clear times for all your Valkyrie operations especially for those that are like um, longer than two hours so yeah so for Milane she needs to be in the leader slot to activate the skill so you get that 15% boost in Valk, uh, you know Dai Seiko your great success chance so yeah for Mirage she's the same thing great success 7% boost for Lucas Valkyrie like I said all the middle planes technically just boosts a particular stat so for Luca, he boosts the life stat by 25 points. Um, if you're wondering why I didn't use the previous version of Luca's plane, which is not the... Um, I, was Luca's plane the super pack? Yeah, it's the super pack version. So the regular version without the super pack, even though technically his skill is the same, but you can tell that the stats is just lower compared to the super pack. So, when you have a better one, why not just use the better one, right? Alright, moving along. Team 4. Alright, so as you can tell, the series bonus icon disappears because I don't have a Valkyrie that is from the Macross Delta series. But do not fret, let's say for example, if all the other teams with the Macross Delta planes are gone, um, like I said, the center plane can be changed. So if I were to amend um, to a Macross Delta plane, you know, let's see, I'll go with this one because it boosts the life skill when it's used for a Valkyrie operation. You can see that the series bonus icon returns. Oh. So I'm going to change back to the one I have slotted in before because, you know, it's always good to have diversity. So, Macross, SDF Macross, Macross Frontier, and then of course followed by Macross 7. Alright, so same thing, the first two plane, first and last plane all boost, well, something. But sadly enough, this team, Team 4 and Team 5, the first plane, the leaders, are all from SDF Macross but like I said earlier the rest of the Valkyries in SDF Macross uh, they just don't have the great success abilities technically you don't have to use them but you know SDF Macross Valkyrie operations do appear quite frequently so 
I decided to go with this setup instead, instead of a great success, Valkyrie from other series in the franchise. You know, but of course, you can let me know of your own other setups in the comment section down below if you want to recommend me to change Team 4 and Team 5. Technically, I have a different setup for Team 4 and Team 5 previously, which has, um, you know, I think it was Arad that has the ability. Yeah, so as a leader, Arad has that great success boost for 15% points. Previously, I was using Arad as a leader, you know, but, you know, I just decided to go with um, this team setup to help clear Valkyrie operations that have longer time durations. So, yes. Alright, so, SDF Macross, Valkyrie, boost attack and life stats, as you can tell. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> this Valkyrie from SDF Macross, even though it does not have like a armor pack or super pack, the stats on it are just insane. So that's the main reason why I went with this build. So, uh, yep. Then of course, Beras, Lucifer, uh, Valkyrie, you know, boosting their attack stat as well. Like I said, the middle Valkyrie is interchangeable, so it's up to you to play with the change. If you need to clear certain Valkyrie operations, then you do not have the series for. Macross 7, uh, Gumlin's Plane does give that great success boost by 7%, so that's you know, a great success covered. The last team, like I said earlier, I went with the SDF Macross setup. This one boosts 50 attack points, so it's going to help with time clearance. The middle one, like I said previously, oh, Apparently this one gives great success. Mm. <laughs> so I probably should have changed the position. Okay, for this one. Oh, yep. So I probably should have swapped the position for this one. So let me just do that very quickly. I raise the Valkyrie so that you guys have an easier time understanding. All right. Here it is. Okay. Oh. Nice Gumlin's plane. There we go, this one. Okay, so simple as that. Only the center position Valkyries can be interchanged. So now that you know that the Macross Delta Valkyrie with the little dragons have that 7% boost for great success. Gumlin's Plane from the Macross 7 franchise just increases the attack points to help reduce that duration for Valkyrie Operation Clearance. So guys, these are the 5 teams that I highly recommend you to try, like I said in the earlier part of the video and somewhere in the middle. If you guys have other Valkyrie team setups that you personally enjoy using, let me know which planes that you use for your team in the comment section down below all your thoughts on the five teams that I've recommended here does it meet your needs you know to clear Valkyrie operations without uh, too much hassle to think on how to set up you know, and all that kind of stuff and all the good jazz let me know all the stuff in the comment section down below talk to me guys I like it when you guys talk to me when we converse and build a community of course do the other stuff like share subscribe like i recommended earlier in the video i think i did i hope i did if not please do so now <laughs> it really helps me out it helps me out to know that you guys appreciate the content you know if not it really really makes me think if i should continue making videos just like this and until then guys i'll see you guys in another video on my channel sometime soon bye